What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out. Brand new release, 2020, 21, Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. This is a 12-box case break. Pick your team's number one. Where if you buy two or more teams, you have a chance to win a free box of Series 1. So how to get an entry, guys? Just buy two or more teams. You buy two teams, you get one entry. You buy four teams, you get two entries. You buy six teams, you get three entries, etc., etc. Uh, remember, if you only buy one team, you will not be entered to win. Uh, just remember, no veteran comments will ship from this, but everything else will. And this is a full case of UD Series 1 Hobby. And, of course, you get exclusive. Uh, 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 what do you get? I think you get the high gloss in here, right? Exclusive. And then you also have a chance to get up to six young guns per box. We were just going through the checklist a little earlier. And, um, of course, Lafreniere, the number one overall pick, is the big chase, of course. But through a hobby box, you have a chance to get six uh, rookie young guns. Four UD canvas, six inserts, four UD portrait inserts, and one Dazzler's blue, uh, blue insert. And then, not really for the autographs, guys. You're, you're really doing this for the young guns. But you do get a chance at a one autograph per case, four clear cut parallels, six UD canvas young guns, and one clear cut PETG card. So, check it out, guys. Should be very fun. Beautiful looking cards. And let's pull some fire, guys. So again, we'll do that randomizer for the customers that bought two or more teams at the end of the break. What we'll do is we'll alphabetize these and see how many entries customers get. And uh, here we go. Let's do the break. Camera's a little slow. Again, we do have another one of these up on the website. So if anybody wants to get those rolling. Definitely do. Whoa. Also, guys, let me first show you guys who's in the break, actually. So Josh Proust got last ball mojo. Look out for some synergy coming out soon. Fill these packs already. Come on, man. Pack game has not been good with UD so far. I feel like they use too much, uh, use too much, uh, glue in some of these packs. Love upper deck, though, but gotta get better pack game, though.
gonna rip open a couple boxes, guys. So let's rip open at least like three at a time. done with the first two guys like I said if you guys have ripped some of these packs before very nice stuff but man it's like they put too much glue in these packs and they're making it really tough to rip it might take me a little longer than I thought <laughs> they kind of just fall apart too back in the day man upper deck had some great packs pretty easy to rip too But I do love Upper Deck's products, though. Always really nice and sharp. And since they don't really put out too much of them, uh, since they don't really put out too much of them, it's always fun to rip them. But if I had to choose, you know, some like Prism Packs or something, those are made just especially for breakers. You could break those like in two seconds. I mean, the quality of the pack is really nice, though. Don't get me wrong. But I just think that they put so much glue that, like, it's just really rough, tough to rip. And see how it kind of falls apart. Can't really tear it down the middle either just because, like, it's so sealed tight at the top. It, it, you wouldn't even be able to, like, run it down, see? Like, barely. You kind of have to definitely just like, grip and rip it. But... Some of them come out smooth, some of them don't.
You guys also see that bounty, guys? That uh, some guy online is putting for Lafreniere. So, somewhere to pull Lafreniere uh, high gloss, which are really rare, number to ten. The guy in Canada is saying he'll 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 pay uh, like about ten thousand Canadian for the card, which is like, whoa, it's pretty high for a high gloss. I don't even think Conor Davis high gloss were were that high when it first came out. So a lot of people really believe that this, this is a real deal. But hey, if we pull one. Whoever gets it, who has the Rangers? Jeremy Merle. Go out and get ten thousand Canadian for it. <laughs> I think that's about like 7,500 or so, 8,000 US I think. I don't know what the the dollar is over there for right now, but kind of sounds about right. I didn't see you know the last time you chatted with me Nick was asking about the box giveaway but if it seems like it's a little delayed Nick uh, refresh your page just in case all right This is a nice dazzler. They look really, really nice. So like I said, if you got into this break looking for autographs and stuff like that, well, Young Guns guys in the Young Gun world and hockey is pretty much like the ultimate rookie you want to get. UD Canvas Borokovsky, so... This is really what you're chasing. And then if you get a like ex UD exclusive out of a hundred, I mean that's pretty nice. And then when you get a high gloss, that's just like out of this world. Portraits, Pierre Luc Dubois. And there you go. That's my boy Gabriel Velarde. Hoping he uh, does pretty well with my Kings. There you go, Mike. Also, guys, there will probably be a ton of these Bruins and Capitals. So what we're going to do, just unless it's an exclusive or a high gloss, we're just going to split them up. There, there should be more than enough. There's usually on average like more than 10 of those. UD Game Jersey is Victor Hedman. What's up, J-Dog? Lucas Carlson, young gun for the Blackhawks. Blackhawks were just taken out to the Longo Spiro. And we got Young Guns Canvas. For the Stars. Yes, Nick. So, from the new 2020 first rounders... Like, like for my Kings, Quinn Byfield, right? The number two overall pick. What what UD will usually do, here's another young gun for the Calgary Flames, Artem, is they'll kind of split them up. So you'll have some 2020 first rounders in this series, and then you have some 2020 first rounders in series two. But with series one, and I mean, just in general with the hockey world, it's not like your traditional NFL draft and, and, and NBA or like if they get drafted in 2020, Peyton, Young Guns for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights, they're in a product the next year. Some of these rookies, you know, were rookies back in 2018, you know, 2019 draft. So they're kind of just like baseball where they don't get put into a product until either they're already in the NHL, you know, the year before, playing a couple games, or, 
or um, you know, until they're finally uh, in the NHL the year of. Alexander True, Young Guns. So there's like a couple players. So like for my Kings, for example, Gabriel Velarde was a really t was a top five draft pick back in 2018. So he's finally a rookie for the Kings this year. Jason Robertson, he started playing with the Kings towards the end of the year. He was in the minors for like a year and a half. So some players don't really develop as quickly as Connor McDavid and, and Matthews, like we've gotten blessed with in 2015 and 16. But there'll be other players, of course, that are could be just as good potentially, but it is going to take an extra year or two. It's pretty amazing, though, guys. Some of these guys are like 18 years old, and they're really like killing it in the NHL. And some guys, you know, they need a couple years till they're about, you know, uh, 20, <laughs> which is still pretty, pretty young. Connor Garland, UD Canvas. Young Guns there for the Flyers. Ustamenko. Cup hockey, Tony. Kale McCarr. What a relic here of uh, Blackhawks, uh, Dominic. Yeah, no problem, man. I mean, like I, so, like I always tell people, this isn't a high-end product at all. And you're really wanting to conduct these young guns because, you know, 10 years down the line, these young guns may have only been like a $20 young gun. You know, maybe under that, 50 bucks, and they could potentially be 500 if not more. But now what's really selling much better is grading young guns, for sure. I mean, I think McDavid young guns raw are still like four or $500, right? Connor McMichael... But if you get them graded like a PSA 10, they're like crazy amounts now. But remember, this this is a hobby box that's probably no more than like 120 bucks, like $100. But yeah, this is a very lower end product. But like I said, Young Guns is what you're going to want to chase. And there's one of those UD checklists. So what we'll do, guys, is if we pull like two of them. Actually, this is both of the Rangers, so it doesn't really matter. There you go, Lafreniere's on there. Very nice. Nikita Kucherov canvas. But yeah, you're really just chasing young guns because this is the, like one of the ultimate rookie cards you're going to want down the line. Sam Steele. Tyler Bertuzzi. Bellows. Shane Bowers, Carl Avalanche, Darcy Kemper. Oh, Byram for the Avalanche, and that is a clear cut rookie as well. There you go. Ooh, there you go. 
I'll admit, yeah. guys, I haven't really done my studying. I just feel like I've disconnected with hockey with my Kings just not doing so well. And also, with the bubble and all that, I just didn't even really pay attention to it. But I got to get more hyped again because I think the Kings' future is pretty strong. Mika Sabinajad. Army, Young Guns for the uh, Penguins, Don Raff. Wow, the Dazzlers are beautiful cards. Ben Bishop. Nathan McKinnon. And again, these ones will split them up. There, there should be a ton of them. Travis Konechny. Capocaco. Alexander True. And we got a Matthew Barzell, like purple dazzler. This must be numbered or something. Maybe not. It's pretty cool. Canvas Brett Burns. The the UD canvases though, I always I always think they have great photography. Matthew Kachuk. Tyler Sagan. What about the New Jerseys, guys? Did you guys check out the New Jerseys for uh, intro retro versions, I think they call them? Vitali. Should be should be pretty nice ones. I, I do love my Kings one too, but man, I just want some black and purple jerseys again, man. Need some black and purple ones again. Morgan for the Hurricanes. Josh Norris, great last name. Is he a defenseman? No, he's not. He's a centerman. Josh Norris will never win the Norris. Artemi Panarin. Zach Ruinski for the canvas. Max Pacioretty. We got Igor. Another clear cut there. Dylan Dubé. Got another, uh, this time, well, another Igor, but leaves Igor. For sure, Koff. Ooh, this is a cool one. Look at that, Quinn Hughes. We are all Canucks. It's very nice. Tyler Benson, Portrait Rookies. Arturo, what's going on, man? Good morning. Morning.
Alright guys, let's move on to the next couple boxes. All right, next one. Pop it in now as always. Nice, man. happen Coyote's jersey is pretty nice it is very nice I mean I love the old Harbor Whalers jerseys um, I kind of like that they uh, brought back a little retro Capitals jersey you know Vetchin got to wear a couple of those his first year or so uh, but they brought it back in red. That's pretty cool. Like I said, I, not that not that I don't love the purple and gold, but I don't know. I just feel like they've done that so many times already. But I do like that they kind of switch it up just a little bit and put the Chevy logo, Kings, uh, you know, '80s, early '90s jersey. I also think that it's with purple and gold easily marketed to like Laker fans here in LA and they'll want to wear it, you know? Xbox. Like I said, apologies. This video might take me a little longer than I expected. I these packs are a little rough to rip now. The last couple of big releases with Upper Deck with these heavy, uh, higher. I mean these uh, more heavy base products. The packs have been a little tough to rip. It's a little too much glue. 
kind of make it to make sure that the cards are uh, are good in there, so that way they don't get damaged or anything like that. So, what's up, Dom? How's it going, man? I'm trying my best to kind of rip them. Up, Don. I don't think I ever said that. <laughs> Still focus on this. Ugh. Also, guys, I, I see a little bit of buffering. On my end with YouTube, which is kind of a little weird, because we have pretty strong, fast internet here, so I'm going to refresh my page really quick, too, but just in case if anybody is, like, delaying or something, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but don't worry guys. I mean, like I said, uh, this video will record without buffering. It, it'll be just fine. I honestly think it's on, it's a YouTube type of deal because our internet speed here has to be pretty fast for us to upload all these videos pretty quickly and, and the quality of them. So, just a little FYI, if it's buffering a little on your side, I can see it too. So when I can see it, that means there's something wrong. Probably with YouTube because our internet here is pretty fast, like I said. So it hardly ever buffers. I, I'm usually like when customers are like, "Hey, it's it's really slow or really delayed," and then I look at ours and it's like right on spot. Then you know it's pretty much mostly telling us that it's most likely your guys's, you know, either your phone wherever you're at doesn't have good service or the internet is not as crazy uh, download speed, but. I'm seeing a little buffering too, so it's definitely not the internet speed. It must be something for YouTube or something. But this video will upload nice and crisp though.
one second, guys. Ooh, that one ripped pretty crisp. Alright guys, I was just checking a little bit of orders, but it looks like what's going to fill is going to be that XR filler next, which will unlock the Random Divisions 5 box break. So, by the time I get done with this, guys, let's call it like 12.20, put everything away, 12.30, go through the orders. I'll probably be able to do the XR, and then if the, if the UD uh, Series 1 Pikachu number 2 were to sell out after that, that'll probably lead right into Joe coming in perfectly so we'll definitely do another one of these rather quickly guys so continue to sell your spots Alright, good luck everybody. Next three boxes. Nicholas. Buden. Leon Dreisaitl. We got Morgan for the Canes. Paul Giroux. Kirby Docs. Timothy Lindgren, and he's finally a rookie. Connor McMichael. Army. Got a little Victor Hedman clear cut. Igor. Ryan Suter. Artem. And a Quinn Hughes Dazzlers. Canucks on the mic.
Chuckles Quinn Hughes Elias Pedersen. Jansen Harkins. Young Guns there for the Jets. And Mikey Anderson. Mike Giordano. Max Domi. Jack Hughes. And David Pasternak. The Dazzlers. John Carlson. And there you go. There's our first Alexis Lafernier. Hopefully more to come there for the Rangers and Jeremy. True. Aaron Eggla. Tech. Jack of Orchard, UD Canvas. So uh, Avalanche. Dylan Larkin, Dazzlers. <clears throat> Ryan gets up. Lucas Carlson. And we got our first exclusives. Not a rookie, not a young guns, but Hair John Crook to one hundred. Justin Brown. Patrice Bergeron. Payne Krebs. Joel. Kivaranta. Jake Evans for the Canadians. Another one of those checklists. Again, we'll just split them up. Unless they're an exclusive or number or something like that, then 
We'll randomize them. Carey Price, Canvas. Havel, Colorado Avalanche, David Krejci, Ryan O'Reilly, Victor Stoderstrom, Stoderstrom, sorry. All right, last little stack here, and then we're halfway there, guys. So I'm pretty much on track for an hour and a half. Nikita Zaitsev. Jason Robertson. Canvas, Elvis Mers Lincolns. It's a pretty cool photo too as well. Jack Eichel. There you go. Very nice. Alright, so it looks like uh, that mosaic blaster filler did sell out. Uh, we're at four left there. Three left there. Six left here. So yeah, guys, it looks like I'll probably do that XR next. And it looks like we're done with three left in the next series two, uh, series one hockey. So I think Joe will take over for that one since it'll probably cut into around one o'clock ish, and uh, we gotta be on Instagram by two. So. Get some more top loaders really quick. All right, next three guys. So no exclusive young guns yet, or potential high gloss, although they're not guaranteed, but we'd like to get one.
There's one box there. Next box. Next box.
Alright, Coolio. Starting the half, uh, rest of the half case, guys. Good luck. Whoa. Clear cut foundations for the Blackhawks. That's a pretty cool card. Oh, yeah. Tomas Jabot. John Carlson, Portraits. And we got Nicholas. Another one for the Hawks. We got Artem for the Calgary Flames. Connor Hollebuck. Next one. Also, guys, if anybody's interested, I think we will be having some of these for personals as well. I don't know how much, but we will be. Jack Eichel, UD Portraits. David Pasternak. Relic here for the blue uh, Bruins, sorry. Going to Matt Arnold. Gustav Lindstrom. Is he related? Ooh, excuse me. Byram and uh, one of our customers said number four overall pick last year. We got a clear cut of him earlier. Another one for the Avalanche right there. Igor, Young Guns Canvas. I see that one right there. Zach Cassian. Gibber Velarde. Igor. First cup. I was going to sneeze, but then it went away. Igor. Some of these cards got stuck right here. Timothy Lindgren. I've been hearing about that guy for a while now. And we got Nicholas Bowden, Buden. Chris Letang. Oh, 
Connor Hollebuck, Portraits. And we got to 25, Travis Konechny. Numbered for the Flyers. It's going to Robert Runkle. Next stack right here. Sebastian Ajo, UD Canvas. Sebastian Ajo, UD Portraits. And we got Joseph Wall. Charles connect me. Tyler Benson. Connor Ingram. <laughs> got Young Guns. Victor Soderstrom. UD Canvas there for the uh, Coyotes. Ricard Raquel. Mark Andre Fleur. Matthews with that stash, though. <laughs> Jake Evans. All right, next box, guys. Bowden Byron. Another one. Second one and then a clear cut. And, well, there you go. Dominic Cahoon is your autograph here. Signature sensation for the Sabres. Buffalo Sabres going to Frank. There you go, man. Vandy King, UD Canvas. Roman Yossi. Gustav Lindstrom. For the Hawks, UD Canvas. For the Capitals, young guy. Another Alexander on the team. Peterburg, Russia. Or 1999. Forget we're officially in the 2000s, babies, rookies.
Lucas Carlson. And NBA draft tonight, guys. Whew. UD Jersey's Jamie Ben. Martin. Young Guns there for the Colorado Avalanche. Jason Robertson, UD Gun Young Guns UD Canvas. Oh, wow, this guy's from Arcadia. Not too far from where I grew up. That's pretty cool. Shane Bowers. <clears throat> Jack Hughes. Jonas Johansson. We got Brady Kachuk. Alright guys. Our, let's go this way. Last three boxes everybody. So guys, I got about 15 orders to go through. I do believe though that uh, by the time I get done with orders, uh, I'll be able to squeeze in that uh, divisional break of XR, but that's pretty much it. Uh, if the next series one hockey break were to sell out, um, we'll have to, uh, Joe will have to take over and do that. And nothing in Mackley has broken yet, Kyle. We're still, few spots away from RMBs and then we're still at 11 spots <clears throat> in a one boxer so that'll be breaking a little bit later tonight at some point but the other new release today which is a much more affordable than Immaculate of course uh, our first case break of this and then the second case pick your teams is already down to two left so we should be able to get that one running especially with Joe so he'll give you a little bit of taste of his hockey Hockey knowledge as well. And I think by then maybe somebody will be here to help pack stack, so he won't have to do it all by himself. Yeah guys, I'll be on Instagram, I think like around two-ish. I gotta go get set up, upload some product. I don't think we've uploaded any immaculate boxes there yet, so we'll work on that. We'll have some hit drafts on there for that. Unless Nick already did it. Yeah, no. We haven't posted nothing yet.
Yeah, you're definitely going to be breaking. I just don't think I can do the next one just because by the time I get done with the orders and then uh, jump into uh, the XR break, if I get done by like one ish, I think Joe would already be here, so he'll definitely take over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, like I said, well, I, I believe we'll have some avail available for personal tonight for these as well on Instagram. Um, don't know the price yet, but I know with Upper Deck's a little, a little tricky giving out the price over on the website, you know, over the air, but we will have it up there, though. So you guys can get a price inquiries. I'm sure we'll have more cases, man. I, I think we had just posted up the two. So do not worry. I, I did see a couple cases back there. So I expect there to be probably up at, up at least until Pikachu number four is my guess. So we will have more. I just don't know when we're going to post it. Yeah, no, we can, we can ship boxes to you, Seal. That's no problem. Uh, what you'll do is just either let us know on Instagram that you want it sealed, Nick, or... Um, what you can do also is when you're checking out through Shopify on our website, it'll have a special instructions to the buy or to the seller. You'll just type in right there, ship sealed. You know, we don't have to open it for you, but the thing on Instagram is we'll never open it unless you tell us to in the chat or if you tell us in a note when you're watching. So if you don't ever pop in and you buy something, then we most likely think that you wanted to ship sealed. You just forgot to put a note. But yeah, you definitely can, man. Uh, well, so far, Josh, uh, we got a Lafreniere. We got one so far. Um, got an auto. A couple of this guy right here, Byram, exclusive. And then we got a third cut, Ricky Young Gun. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, we might not be able to publish the price, Nick. So it might get a little tricky and you have to go use our balance O. But I can definitely show you how that works. I mean, it's, it's just, it's pretty simple. But with Upper Deck, we're not allowed to publish our personal box prices. Um, so it's, it's just a little weird. So we have to tell you directly through DM, through email, or if you're in person, of course, you can see our prices in our store. They have this policy, and then when it passes 180 days, then we can publish our prices online per personal box. But like I said, it's pretty simple. Uh, just go to balance mode. If it's a hundred dollar box, put a hundred dollars in your cart or hundred spots in your cart, and it goes a hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think that it just controls their market. The one thing that I have noticed, sorry guys, I want to fix this. The one thing I have noticed with Upper Deck doing that is that you kind of don't ever see their product kind of drop down in price pretty crazy. Because there's only like, I think what, four or five Upper Deck online authorized sellers in the world. <laughs> like we're talking world. A couple of them are in Canada and then the only other two are like David Adams uh, Sports uh, Card World and, and Steel City. I think they're the only other two. So they can publish their prices on their website and sell boxes. I mean, not that we can't sell. We just, you know, you just gotta DM us or contact us via email, but it, it's just a little, it, it is a little weird, but I just think it just controls their market, so. 
you don't really know how much people are selling their prices for unless you ask them or you're in person. So you don't ever get to see like their product dump. Like cause some people will be like, you know what? I purchased too much of this and we're a big online retailer. I'm just going to discount this like crazy just so we can get rid of it and move on to the next one. Where I feel like with Upper Deck, it's kind of tough to do that when not many people can publish their prices. So, I think that's why they do it. And we wanted Apply to be that, and we're, and we're like, it's just gonna take a while, but we of course are Upper Deck authorized group breaker online, so. <clears throat> so, um, we can sell their product on release day and get it through our wholesaler. So that's good. And then to have to buy Upper Deck Direct and stuff like that, you have to have a card shop as well. So like I said, they're a little bit more strict, but like I said, Upper Deck does some great products though. I do, I do appreciate all the products. Well, that's not, that's not necessarily true, Nick. I mean, if you don't have a storefront, I mean, you can still break hockey. It's just that you won't be able to get it through your distributor on release that you'd have to venture out and buy secondary market. I used to do personally myself, like only hockey breaks on my own for a while. And uh, since I didn't have a storefront, I just couldn't get it through my distributor on release day <clears throat> since I didn't have a storefront. So what you had to do is venture out into the secondary market. So I had to create relationships with, with, uh, you know, with some online re uh, dealers and stuff. So that way I can try to get my boxes on time or, or go to local card shops around my area and be like, Hey, do you guys can get this for me on release day? But it was cool though. You know, like I said, I think hockey is a, is, is a great, great sport to rip. I know Josh, that's what I was telling people. I was like, you know, this is probably going to sell pretty fast because <laughs> this is like a, a big change of a uh, change of pace and change of uh, a price point. This is like you know when you go to like uh, <laughs> it's like you're just like whoa, man! I can afford this whole case if I wanted to for the price of just like the price of a figure team team in immaculate. But of course, unless you're gonna get a Fernier high gloss, I'm, I don't think you're gonna make crazy amounts of money but it does add up guys i mean think about it if, if this if a pick your team was only like 20 25 bucks let's just say you get about like five six young guns of the player that's on their checklist and dudes young guns go for like five ten dollars alone you know you add it up i mean that pretty much pays for the spot right so that's not too bad you know so that's the good thing what's up patrick how's it going buddy so this is definitely a very affordable break and a very fun break to rip too in person. You know, you get a lot of packs, you know, you get six young guns. I mean, it really just takes a Lafreniere to pay for your whole box really and probably double it. How much are they going to go? For? I'm assuming they're going to go for like a hundred bucks, probably around there. But yeah, it, it may work out for you in the end. Exactly. Cause like I tell people that you're really chasing the young guns in this anyways, right? If these players, couple years down the line turn out to be somebody I think now obviously get him graded is a bigger thing but I mean you're, you're gonna make your money back for the years down the line for sure if you hold on to some of these young guns but of course the big chase is getting the exclusives to 100 and then of course you know high gloss and stuff like that but they will add up for sure wow okay I was kind of lowballing them then <laughs> So then if, if they're going for like 300, then uh, you buy a, a box here. I don't know what they're really saying. I think online I see them for like 120, 130, maybe a hundred bucks. A uh, hundred bucks, right? A box around there. And then you get a Fernier and it pays for like three boxes worth potentially. See, that's not bad. All right, gotcha, man. No, yeah, Immaculate is going to be tough, man. It, it really is. I mean, the good thing is... it. We all know it's like in tiers, right? Immaculate to NT to flawless, but I think Immaculate is much more cheaper though than, than NT. And I'm sure you will see more bigger rookie patch autographs in this than you would in NT. And logo man's for sure.
The French variations are cool. Which ones are those, Jeremy? Have I missed any of those? Which ones are those? I mean, we're going to sort this out, so everything will ship that's not vet based, but. Oh, did you really, Josh? Nice, man. I would notice it right away. Vasilevsky. We got Nick Suzuki. Um, I don't know what is it like twenty four maybe. I'm assuming it's twenty four. Yeah, 24 packs. Eight cards. So if it's one in every 130 packs, you're looking at roughly about half a case. Six boxes, maybe. So we should get one, then. Jonas Johansson. Dylan Coughlin. Rossman's Dolling. Well, honestly, Nick, I didn't really study up on the draft this year and a little bit of last year, to be honest. Um, I know, of course, my Kings picked the number two overall pick, but he's not in this. He'll be he'll be a big rookie to chase in Series 2. I honestly don't know. Um, I honestly don't know what other top 10 picks, potentially top 15, are also in this one. Because the one thing with Series 1 and Series 2 is that, like, there's a lot of carryovers. Whoa. Look at that. NHL Worldwide. Why? 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 <laughs> uh, but, yeah, like, you know, so I know some of the top picks are definitely in Series 2. But just like Jeremy's saying, and I, another customer of ours earlier said that, uh, Byron was a big pick last year, right? He was number four overall. So Colorado is a good team to chase potentially, right? Um, I mean, I'll say it again. I think Gabriel Lardy is a stud too for my Kings. And he's finally a rookie in this year's product. He was a, a, a top uh, top 10, whatever pick in, in 27, 2018. So, like I said, there'll be multiple rookies here from all last three years draft class that are finally playing in the NHL or about to start playing full time with their with their team this upcoming season. Oh, is it is it gonna be his last Penguins card, or why is that that he retires him or he got traded? Cole, what's going on, man? You too, bro. Thank you. Alexander. The Capitals, Young Gun. But yeah, the good thing about these teams, guys, and pick your teams is that the prices, besides, of course, the ranges for the Fernier and them, there's not too many teams that are priced around 100. There's a lot of them in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Like I said, you will get multiple young guns on the most part. And they will add up. So that's the good thing. There you go, Josh Bruce telling you right there. In the next few years. 
There's another buy round. This is legit like the fourth young gun I've got of this guy already. So good for you, Jeremy, with the avalanche. And you got that uh, clear cut as well. But I got I got to study up, guys. I've been slacking. I want I love hockey, but I haven't really just been setting up on it. Just whatever the Kings have been drafting, I haven't been venturing out. No one for the Capitals. So I'll probably be looking for some young guns here to buy from you guys, especially if I get some Velaris. So if anybody's interested in selling some to me, let me know. And then for sure in series two. I'll take some some buy fields as well. My favorite hockey set, I mean, I love OPG Platinum. I'm a big color guy when it comes to, like, products. I love Mosaic. I love Prism. I love Select and Optic and stuff. So um, I love OPG Platinum. That's probably one of my favorite ones. It's a long break to rip, though, but I do love that. And, you know, I mean, I love me some high-end stuff, right? <laughs> I love me some Cup, some Premier and stuff. Cup is always going to have a special place in my heart. But I, I like I like all the colors. Stature, that's right. I mean, Stature this year was really good, too. Stature this year was really good, too. You did hit the mark with that one. But yeah, I like OBG Clown pretty much, Nick. Ustamenko for the Flyers. That's right, Chase the Rainbow. I really love their, their sunsets uh, subsets they did this year. Uh, like I said, Spiro, there should be. I, I don't know when it's going to be posted. That's whenever Nick does post it up. So I just kind of have to stock the website. I'm pretty sure we will sell another one of these, though. And if it doesn't get posted today, watch out for tomorrow. But I'm sure Nick will post up another one. Pretty soon. Gabriel Velarde. No. I'm not really a big Patrick Wall guy. And especially if he's like an avalanche or something. Probably not. But I'm sure somebody else would definitely love to buy that. Depending on, is it an avalanche jersey or is it a Montreal Canadiens jersey? But I will pass. For hockey, I really just stick to, like, my kings and certain rookies that I want to collect, but don't go way out there. Thomas Harley. And we got another Foundations. This time it is... Uh, for the Islanders, it was that uh, Pajo and uh, Brock Nelson. Philip Broberg. Oli. UD Canvas, Liam Foudy. Colorado Avalanche going to, I mean, sorry, not Colorado Avalanche, the Blue Jacks going to Don Rapp. We got Michael Burden for the Jets, Matt Arnold. Snake, awesome man. We got Evander Kane.
We got Michael DiPietro. Is he related to to the? Uh, is this like his son or something? Or nineteen ninety nine? I guess it could be Rick DiPietro. I did not write. I, I I will have to mention that though, man. All right, guys, last box. Ty Delandro. We have Pavel Buchnevich. We got Oliver, our Pierre Oliver Joseph. The Penguins. Timothy Lindgren. Oh, this is cool. Predominant. Cool little insert. Blue Jackets. I mean, sorry, not Blue Jackets, uh, Sabres. Jonathan Bernier. Gets left. We got another relic here. It's Gabriel Landeskog. Alex. Montreal Canadiens. And we got Josh Norris, Young Guns. UD Canvas. Have they really? That's that's pretty good then. I mean, that almost pretty much pays for the, the his spot. So, if you were to potentially get two of them, I mean, that you're in the clear. I mean, he's pretty hyped, guys. I mean, I, honestly, I didn't really look up too much of him. My brother did say he was going to be pretty good. And he's been pretty much projected to be number one the last couple of years, right? So, for you people that have seen him play, is, 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 is he going to be good? Is he going to fit perfectly with the Rangers is my thing. The Rangers have had a couple good draft picks the last couple years. Elias Pedersen. I really liked him in 18-19, though. Pedersen's a stud. Igor, the Mula. We got a Mitch Marner dazzle. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you go. Um, that was the break. So I'm going to quickly do a little recap and then show you guys the hits that you guys uh, got in the break. Or let me show you the hits first. So I'm going to top load all these young guns, but I did penny sleeves pretty much all the stuff that should be penny sleeves and top loaders. If 
But um, so there'll be some relics in here, the dazzles, and all the other canvases that you potentially could get in here. So some clear cuts, but I separated all the all the young guns into one pile. So there you go. Oh, I don't like Crosby, but that's a good thing, I guess. Saying that he's the next Crosby. Let's just hope he doesn't get concussions like Crosby. So there's those right there, guys. This one was out of 25 that connect me. Alright. And I got all the... Uh, there and of course you're the young guns so I'm just gonna announce the teams out but you guys can read the player names so we got Flyers young gun Oilers Senators Canadians uh, Leafs Penguins Stars Canucks Jets Canvas Blue Jackets Canucks Oilers Stars uh, Flyers Capitals uh, we have another Capitals Young Gun there. Blackhawks, Stars, Vegas, Buffalo Sabres back to back. Avalanche, Stars, Avalanche, uh, Blackhawks, Capitals, Red Wings, Canadians, and, and uh, sorry, Coyotes. We got a Young Gun right here for the Predators, Oilers, Leafs, uh, Hawks. Leafs, Leafs, Flyers, Red Wings, Penguins, Flames, right here, you see that, a lot of the same ones actually, well, not a lot of the same young guns, but a lot of the same teams, Sharks right there, my Kings, Mikey Anderson, Jets, Flames, Leafs, Penguins, Capitals, so like I said guys, they will add up, that's the good thing. Um, I would randomize this check. This is the only one, but it's both to the Rangers. So over there, the Gabe Velarde. So for the most part, pretty much most of the same. And then here were the ones we top loaded that were a little bit bigger, right? Or some inserts and stuff that were pulled. So you guys seen that one already? We got a foundations here for the Islanders. We got a Jack Eichel. Predominance. Got an NHL worldwide die cut of Sidney Crosby. I don't know how rare this is, but it's pretty cool. Byram, another foundations. Autograph of Dominic Cahoon, another Byram, another Byram. Our one exclusive, Sharking, we only got one, and it was just the base right here of uh, John Crook. We got one Lafernier, and we got a clear cut Byram. So there you go, guys. Now let's quickly switch scenes and let's uh, give away a box to customers that bought in here. Um, no, it oh, so give me a sec, guys. Yeah, the relics are all game use, so that's good. Alright guys, so let's see who's going to get entries into the box giveaway.
Yeah, I mean, really. And, I mean, I know the one thing that people now are doing much more than anything now is grading. If potentially the California can grade a PSA 10 or something, it definitely covers the spot price. There was, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm not surprised. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I usually would have seen at least maybe two in a whole case, but every case is different. You might only get one. You might get two. You might get three. Who knows? But yeah, no, I mean, it's really not too bad, really. If they are selling for about 300 and that's just starting price. Look, the hype is real on this guy, especially with this being day one release. The, the price will probably drop a little bit. But if he makes the team and starts playing right away, that a card will easily go up. Easy. That's just the starting price for the hype, you know? Eric, Frank got an entry each. But I, I think uh, what a lot of people are going to do is grade these young guns. Jeremy, Josh Cruz with that, so there you go. Mark with one, Matt Arnold with four, so that's two entries. Uh, Mike G with six, so that's three entries. And then we got Natalino, Robert Roncos, Biro. All right, good luck, guys. Let's roll it. And again, if you bought two more teams, you're in the entry. And number uh, number one gets the free box. Uh, we do, right? I don't know the price, but we do have them in, st on, in store for sale. Six times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Matt Arnold, congratulations, man. You just want a free box. Let me write that on the sheet here so I don't forget that you get the free box. So there you go, man. We'll ship that to you sealed. So appreciate it, guys. This was Series 1. New 2021 uh, UD Series 1 Hockey. Again, the next one is sold out. I'll be breaking soon, guys. I got to go through orders. Uh, but I think what I'm going to be doing next is uh, this break here to unlock XR. And by the time I'm done with this break, I think Joe will take over and break open that uh, Series 1 hockey. So appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.